come out or not if it's too dark. There's a carnival ship coming in and there's a container or some sort of ship passing it. It's kind of cool. Loving this view still. So welcome to vacation day eight, I believe today's day eight. It's our next full day in New Orleans. We didn't really end the vlog yesterday, but we had the best time at Emerald's and we even got to see Emerald's son, which was kind of cool. He was in the kitchen doing things. And it was so cool because you could like watch them prepare the food and like interact. It was, it was really, really a cool experience. It was awesome. But today we have some really exciting plans. We're going on a tour of the swamp. I can't remember the name of it, so I'll tell you later. And one of the big plantation houses and sites. So we're doing that. And then we also have a jazz riverboat cruise later tonight. So it's a fun filled day. We aren't exactly as dressed up as normal because it's freezing here. <laughs> we weren't expecting this cold weather. Where are we, Joe? We were kind of expecting it to be warmer like where we live, but that's okay. We're making do. So we're off. And in true Cassie and Joe form, we're awake before the whole rest of the city. It's dead. There's no cars. There's one little couple in front of us walking their dog. <laughs> Everyone else has gone out all night and sleeping off their drinking. Yeah, they're, and still, they're still at Coyote Ugly. <laughs> yeah, we didn't know Coyote Ugly was here. We were too tired. We thought about it, but we were too tired. Hopped into Cafe Beignet again, and there's nobody in here. Josie and his beignets, and we got some to go. <laughs> and they're good. We just got regular today because they're out of seasonal, but so it's a good thing we got them the other day. Tour. It's pretty cool. We're meeting right on the Mississippi. You can see our hotel room from here. <laughs> Here's our bus. Sightseeing everywhere. Galley Plantation. It's got a Boone Hall vibe to it so far. But we also passed by the place where the Skeleton Key and Django Unchained were filmed, which was kind of neat to see. It's pretty neat. It's a lot like the ones in Charleston that we visit. We got to talk about slavery and the life of a slave, which was really educational and important. I think it's great that they're focusing on that on all of the plantations we visit, right? People need to know what happened. But look at these trees. Look at the garden. This is cool. Okay. Do you have a picture with me? Here we go. I'm so cold. <laughs> this is not the weather we wanted. This is pretty cool. And the trees. Lots of big old oak trees. We got a uh, container ship in the background. That's pretty wild. <laughs> Here we are in a new piazza. Piazza in New Orleans. Gallery. Oh, gallery. They call it galleries here instead of piazzas. This is huge. Really bad. Scored at the uh, plantation. I got a veggie wrap. Joe got a ham and cheese. We got some chocolate cake and some pretzels and some chippies, of course. The best kind of chippy. Okay. So we just had a little spot of lunch. And then went through the gift shop and we got our ornament for the Louisiana portion of our trip. 
Rain's coming. All right, we finished off our tour at Oak Alley Plantation, and this is where they filmed Interview with a Vampire, which I was like fangirling about. <laughs> I love that movie, it's so cool. But now we're gonna head off to our next stop, which is the swamp, the Goodbye. haunted swamp. It was the swamp that was featured in National Geographic's um, Atlas of Cursed Places, and we're excited to check it out. Aren't we, Joe? Yeah, we'll get on our bus. <laughs> Over here on your right, your last look at the trees. I hope you had a chance to walk through them. Of course, the pineapple finials out here on the post, traditional sign of hospitality. Unless they're upside down. <laughs> Which is a different kind of hospitality. <laughs> Swamping, Joe. Hey, we won't have an answer, but as we get going, uh, there's some things I need to cover with the boat. Hey, you can yeah. put bacon on the bacon. Jim over here says, yeah, 1 800 bacon. <laughs> <laughs> The name of the swamp that we travel in today is called the Greater Man Shack Swamp. Now the Greater Man Shack Swamp though happens to be a very famous place. But the crazy thing is what the Greater Man Shack Swamp is famous for. The Greater Man Shack Swamp is famous because it's considered to be one of the most haunted places in the world. Yes, that's ghost stories kind of haunted. So unfortunately what they had to do was dig large holes like mass graves and bury several people in the grave at a time. So each one of these crosses you see here represents an individual mass grave where several people buried in each one of those spots. Vertebrae hanging in the tree. They would put this scary stuff out and keep people away from Julia Brown's grave site. Back in those days, people were very superstitious. You put this kind of scary stuff out and there ain't nothing coming around. Now you see the big bells on Julia Brown's cross? Yeah. Supposedly the story behind those bells goes, you come out here fooling around, all of a sudden the bells start ringing. That means you disturbed Julia Brown. <laughs> Yeah. Wait till he gets all around head? the boat, I'm getting back in the box, and I'll pass the hand sanitizer around to everybody. I'll be following hand sanitizer. So the reason for that is... Oh, that's cool. Yeah. 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 Y
gigantic Santa. Everything's decorated for the holidays, right? All decorated for the holidays, got all the fancy shops here. Okay, so we went over to Cafe Beignet and got a couple beignet mixes to take home with us because they don't sell them on Amazon. Cafe Du Monde sells them on Amazon, so it'd be easier to do it that way. And here's the little mug guy that we got at Beach Bum Berries. Joe's really excited about this. And they gave us little extra swizzles, which are adorable, and some coasters and stickers. This is very cool. So at Oak Alley Plantation, we got this little hand-painted um, slate tile, and it's slate from Oak Alley roof after Katrina, and it's painted. We thought that was pretty cool. So we got that as a little souvenir. It's like an ornament. We have a little baby tree at our house that we use for vacation ornaments, so this will look perfect on it. Right, Joe? Mm -hmm. So we're excited. Now we're going to get ready for dinner. We've so been good. seated at our little paddle wheeler dinner cruise. Lewis is on the paddle wheeler playing <laughs> We've gone for some gumbo. We've got salad, green beans, chicken, mashed potatoes, jambalaya, all sorts of stuff in here. It looks really good. For dessert, we have some bread pudding. And we're moving our along now, aren't we? Are we moving, Joe? <laughs> you can see the paddle wheels behind on the paddle boat. We're doing all the Tiana things. We've got the Tiana's riverboat cruise here. Love it. Are you having a good time? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So how is your food on the dinner cruise? Our paddle wheeler riverboat. Not too bad. Not too bad. It's pretty good. Banana pudding. Oh yeah. Banana pudding. Banana pudding. Banana pudding. We didn't have banana pudding. <laughs> the bread pudding it was yummy but this is kind of relaxing and really chill i like it and the band is really really good i just like the band yeah play it again the ship from the the uh, window <laughs> the we, had a, the <laughs> yes. we had a really good time on our dinner cruise and we had so much fun on our tour today we even had like a little Mardi Gras parade on the bus that was so much fun we got beads and everything we had a quite a busy fun day but we're gonna end the vlog here and we are getting on our cruise tomorrow Aren't you excited? On the boat. On the boat. Alright, bye!